Hi guys and welcome to a competitive gameplay video. And in this one video we have two quick matches. In this game I'm fighting with my typical Cisei build. With us we have buyers with his TNT consultation deck. Stefan fighting with Frasius Vile Smasher Storm. Also with us we have Kabargas with his Idris deck. With the main wing con, Fasa's consultation, but if that fails, a Storm backup plan. Now let the fighting begin. Alright, then I will draw for turn. I will play Misty Rainforest and pass the turn. I will draw. I will play a Underground Sea and pass the turn. Draw a card. Alright, we're gonna play a Savannah, tap it, casting Deathrite Shaman, and play a Mox Amber, pass the turn. Guys, crack your lands now. I'll crack this one for Volcanic Island. Yeah, we'll preordain. Draw one. Uh, we're gonna cast a Mox Diamond. This card, Command Tower, and pass the turn. I'll crack this for a Breeding Pool at your end step. Draw for turn. I will play Tundra. I could cast Thrasios. That is something I could do. Pass the turn, which I think I like passing the turn better, so go ahead. I will uh, brainstorm. Untap, and in my upkeep, I will uh, Vampiric Tour. Yeah, I'll, I'll mental misstep that. Play a Bloodstained Mire, pass the turn. Draw a card. Scrubland. I will tap my Deathrite Shaman. And we have to get rid of that uh, command tower over there. For a green mana, I'm gonna cast Utopia Sprawl. Targeting Savannah, I'm gonna say red on this thing. Kunorus Hound of Epheros is basically very good versus breach decks, uh, which that deck might be running. And that deck might be running. Yeah, then I'm uh, passing the turn. Upkeep draw. We're gonna cast our Carpet of Flowers. Yeah, I will move to second main and target you, Murray. And I'm gonna get uh, use one on a Sensation any top. Use the other one on activating the top. The game is called Trying to Find a Land. <laughs> I know that game. I've been in that game a lot of times. I like that game. Then we're gonna tap it to draw a card and chuck myself for two uh, place limbs and pass the turn. End step, I will tap one, cast Worldly Tutor. Then Pierce. Yeah, that's fine. Draw for turn. Play a Verdant Catacombs for a Training Grounds. And I don't think I want to tap out for Rathios yet, so I will pass. Yeah, I cracked this for a Volcanic Island. Then I draw for turn. Land for turn. Tap four and play by the Smasher. Then it's uh, Mons. Untap. Draw a card. Tundra. Land drop. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. I'm going to cost Cissé. Tapping Mox Amber because of this thing. Tapping these two. And then I'm going to combat my doggy. Uh, let's go straight forward. Free damage. It's a free, free Vigilance lifelink. I take it. Then I pass the turn. Draw first main. We're gonna uh, two black and one black for a Jidris. Building one black. And I will use the other black for the Sensei I need to. Then I'll pass the turn. And step, I will crack this. I'll, I'll find a watery grave. Untap, upkeep, draw for turn. I will tap one. It's unfortunate that I'm missing a land drop here, but I'll cast this land war elves and pass. Draw. It's sad to see uh, a training grounds in play without its Frasius. It's fine. I mean, I'd rather just hold up interaction because I'm worried about the Yidris. Demonic tutor. I will uh, use my remaining mana and I will cast a Feldwar Stone. Then I will pass the turn. In your end step, I'm going to activate Deathrite Shaman. Exile your demonic tutor over there, Stefan. Make all of you lose two life. Then I will untap. I will draw for turn. Uh, Stefan, Dog and Cissé are both coming your way. Cissé is a 4-4. Four -four. I'm uh, blocking Cissé. Pass the turn. On upkeep, I'm gonna activate the top. I'm gonna move to combat, I'm gonna attack in front. Oh, so, me. I, I do want to do something before damage. Tap one, cast a silence. Respond to that with a swan song? Yeah, I'll take a bird. I want to do something before damage as well. Blue, green, red, white, black. Activating boss. So I'm going to find Linvala, a serious renegade, and then I have no further effects to damage. I take five. In second main, I'm gonna trigger this one for black. Assassin's Trophy, the Lavinia, Cascade Triggers, I will respond to the trigger, I'll draw. The Sensei any top, the Sensei any top will be the Cascade, I will decline to cast it. Uh, Lavinia is dead, I will find a basic land. I'll just cast this while I can, it's a Mox Opal that will essentially excel my whole library and return it to the bottom in a random order, which is basically Shuffle. That, that's it for me, I'll pass the turn. Draw turn. I will tap one, two, three 
for a spell seeker. I guess I'll just fetch Tainted Pact. I'll pass the turn after that. Play a land. I will tap two and play Tassius. Play the Alchemist. And this is uh, Sigma Library. Pass the turn. I'm gonna tap this thing in end step, exiling Bloodstained Mire over there, casting Vampiric Tutor. I'll grab that card. The dock side. So I will draw a mysterious card that no one has any clues of. I will tap this one for green, and this one is tapping for red. Dockside Extortionist. I'm on F6, I don't have anything. I have nothing right now. Yeah, same. Okay, so he enters with six treasures. I will consume five of those to activate CC. CC is currently a 4-4 because of uh, Kinoros. I'm gonna find a Minato. CC with a Minato will now become a 5-5. I will use a Minato's minus ability targeting Dockside Extortionist to flicker it. I will generate another six, go up to seven treasures. Activating CC. Angel's Grace. Does it help? No. I'm gonna find the Horsey, Emil. Activate Horsey by tapping this forest and consuming these treasures to flicker Dockside, which means I will generate infinite treasures, generating infinite mana. With that, I would like to activate Cissei a bunch. I'm gonna find Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Uh, let's find the Revi. I'm gonna find Taferi Time Reveler, which is making my opponents unable to cast spells this turn. And I'm going to find Bow of Nayella. With my infinite mana, I will now in generate infinite untaps. How can I force my opponents to draw and discard their entire deck? But I will still survive because of Bow of Nayella putting cards back into my library. So I'm gonna scoop to that and that's game. Play of the game. Blue, green, red, white, black. Activating boss. So I'm going to find Linvala, a serious renegade. Assassin's Trophy, the Lavinia. And I think Lavinia was truly key in this game, both preventing the Idris player from being able to storm off and win, but also making him consume that Assassin's Trophy, which meant that he couldn't use it against the Dockside, Amenate, or Cisse. Now let's jump into game two. We're on the highway to hell, as they would say. All right, let's go. Shock in a temple garden, tap it, play Birds of Paradise. I will play a Marsh Flats, crack it to get a Underground Sea, and then cast a Imperial Seal, and then pass my turn. I'll draw for turn, play a Mana Confluence, a Mox Diamond, pitching Cephalid Collision, Sorting. Nice start. Draw a card, Bloodstained Mire, for a Bayou, Plan or Elf and then I pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play a Nurturing Peatland as land for turn. I will tap my Birds of Paradise for a Mystic Remora. Cast a Gitaxian Probe, paying two life, targeting the Yidris player. Okay, yeah, that's a bit scary. Uh, just for the table's information, we're looking at uh, turn two win from Yidris. Like next turn already? Yes, like Consult Oracle. I have something I want to play, but I'm going to pass. I will play a land, but I will pass. I'm not sure if I should go for it. I'm going to play uh, Forbidden Orchard. No, I'll pass the turn. Draw a card. Tap this one for green mana, casting Utopia Sprawl. I'm going to say white on this thing, so tap this for green white. Draenite Magistrate. Passing the turn. Untap. In my upkeep, I have a Mystic Remora trigger. I will tap, lose a life, and pay for the fish. Draw the turn. Play this Gaia's Cradle and Elves of Deep Shadow. And I will pass. Draw. Land for turn. Pass. Okay. On instead, attempt to vapor snag the uh, Draenite Magistrate. Paying it for Mystic Remora. And I'm giving the 1-1 one, one, to months. Play a better than Catacombs here. Uh, Tassa Circle. I'm giving the 1-1 one, one, to months. Uh, Tainted. Draw trigger on the stack, cast a Mystical Tutor. Force of Negation to the top of my library. I will draw this Force of Negation, cast the Force of Negation, pitching a Mana Drain. Attempt to fetch. I will draw a card. Got nothing. Mana Drain no. on the Tainted Pact. Yeah, I have nothing for that. Then I'll draw one for the Veil of Summer. I'll look at the top two. We want that one, and we will put on that one. Pass the turn after that. Come on, that gives me a land. Oh, that's a land. That's amazing. So I think this guy is actually kind of good. So here comes Dranite Magistrate. And let's tap this Elfie for another Elfie, Elvish Mystic. Stefan, I'm coming against you with for two damage. Sure. Pass the turn. In my upkeep, I have a Remora trigger. I think I still want this pretty badly. I'll tap my guy's cradle for two mana and pay for the Remora. Draw for turn. I'll play this Land of War Elf. Cast this Sylvan Library, and I'll cast this Chromox, imprinting Eladrami's Call. Pass the turn. Okay, I have two colorless floating. 
I will use one of them to cast a Sun Says Divining Top. I use that one and cast uh, Sylvan Library. Let's go, Library Buddies! Cast a Mana Crypt. Pass the turn. Fate 3, float 1 colorless here. Cast a Narset. Hey, if you give me more spirits, I'm gonna attack Stefan with them. It's good. Where's the Sylvan Library? Immediately activate her. I'll respond to the activation. I will cast an Assassin's Trophy targeting Narset. Yeah, that will work. Would make sense to run basic islands in a deck that you know when Assassin's Trophy exists as a card. Then I have a Narset activation. Before, I'm gonna reveal a course token. Oh no, no. Not like this. Incorrect play. I'm completely fine with this. And cast a course token. Buyers, do something. Nope, and totem's I'll, good. I'll pass the turn after that. Draw a card. You have a blocker. Why do you have a blocker? Because I didn't win. Uh, land for turn. <laughs> I can't tap you guys for mana. You're useless to me. I'm gonna cost Kambal, Consult of Allocation. Then, War, Stefan. Yeah. Yeah, he has a blocker. One, two, three, four, five damage at you. Yep, that's fine. Pass the turn. Keep, I have Mystic Remora. Trigger, I'll pay for it. Draw three for turn. I'll lose eight life. I will play this Watery Grave. Pass turn. Tap this one and cast uh, a breaker. I'm going with this one. Sylvan Library, trigger, take one of them, draw this card, put this one here, crack this one, fetch a land, these two cards, got to snipe an electrostatic field. Wait, in your end step, do you want to give me a spirit to increase my army, to increase my smashing power here? If, it, if the spirits are not coming here, yes. Alright, they're not coming at you as long as you give me them. Okay, yeah, get one. One tower, and I will do the draw ball fast turn now. Oh wow, in your end step, I'm gonna crack this uh, land. Taiga, I'm gonna grab Taiga. I'm gonna draw a card, I'm gonna play Marsh Flats. My commander is Cisse. She's currently a 4 4, but she can't activate. I'm gonna go to combat. Uh, Dranat Magistrate and Kambal are going against the Cursed Totem player and all my spirits at uh, you, uh, buyers. So that's a total of 5 damage. Three, one, 5 1 1s. Then I will take 5. I'll, I'll block the Magistrate. Passing the turn. I have effects on end step. I would like to tap 2, cast Cyclonic Rift, targeting Cursed Totem. Uh, Fireblast, the. I'll pay the Remora. I'm gonna give a 1-1-2 one, one, months. Cast a Worldly Tutor. I'll go get Thassa's Oracle to the top of my library. Then the counter spell resolves. Psych Rift is countered. Upkeep, I have a Remora trigger. I will let it die. Draw three for turn. I will keep one and put two back. Scalding Tarn. Let's get Underground Sea. Attempt to cast Thassa's Oracle. Nothing. No responses. Pass on the fastest. ETP trigger on the stack. I will lose a life to my nurturing peatland. Tap my chrome mox to cast a tainted pact. Yeah, I should I should have gotten rid of that Cephalid Colosseum on turn one. <laughs> Play of the game. Gitaxian probe targeting the Yidris player. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit scary. That Gitaxian probe had a perfect hit, revealing the potential turn to kill, which meant people kept up their interaction, being ready to deal with Kabargas, being unable to sneak through a turn to kill. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you wanna support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG player's website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.